This is NDTV. And you're watching Classics. Hello and welcome to the Indie Film Club. Today we bring you the show from the Z Institute of Media Arts, or ZIMA as it's popularly known. This is an institute that offers specialization in various courses, like editing, sound recording, direction, cinematography. So we bring you a short film made by the students here, as well as some animation films. So while I check out the sound recording studio, you go take a look around. Joining us now is Mr. Arun Kehtan. He's the CEO of the Z Network Education Group and also the man behind Zima. Welcome on the show. Tell me about Zima. Tell me when it when did it start and why do you think of coming up with a school that was dedicated to film? Actually, see today if you look into, we are primarily an education group. We are an education business, and initially we begin with IT, information technology. But being a part of the Z Group which is actually known as a media house. Or I would say that probably this group is accredited to introduce a lot of new concepts in this country, bringing in the satellite TV, bringing in this TV to the households in private sector. And I think the way media industry picked up, like currently if you look into the size, it's almost around $8 billion. It works out to around say 36,000 crores. And it is employing a huge number of people directly and indirectly. But when you look into the backup sources, there is no institute. Yeah. That means where from you pick up the professionals? That's how we realize that there is definitely a business potential. And probably there is a social need also. And depending on that, we conceptualize on this. And I think uh, Zima, we started somewhere in 2004, September. Though we were conceptualizing on Zima, started somewhere 2003, beginning itself. And how many batches do you hold and how many students do you get every year? What we initially we started, initially we thought about that we will be having one batch only in the year. Then we realized that we can't go in a session format year basis. We realized that we should start quarterly batches and that's how we started. But then you get a lot of students who are also coming in, you know, for the glamour that's associated with media. Because there is that misconception. When you see it from outside, there's sort of a glamorous image. So do you have students come, how do you differentiate between students who have passion and those who are coming just for a glamorous sort of image? I would say that today, what I found that initially when we started, I would say that probably 20 to 25 percent students used to be there who came with this glamour, attraction. But I think there was an attrition. A few of them dropped out in the beginning itself. They were not serious. Probably I would say that we were also not very sure about the quality check and what format we should run. But I think in this last one and a half or two years, we acquired that expertise, I think. Today we select the students because you, you can make it that the student has a flair, yeah. that he is serious about it, he has a passion. So I think we always give preference to those students. In an industry like this, which is so constantly updating and changing, and in an industry where there's so much emphasis on practical uh, training, how much value is theory? I would say that, see, today if you look into this kind of courses, they are totally practical oriented courses, let me tell you very frankly. But definitely theory has its value. Many times what I found or I hear from my faculty, the students when they come, they immediately want to become a director mm. or they immediately want to become a cinematographer. It, mm. it does not like that. See, today you need to get exposed to what an industry is all about, how this industry came up. I think they should have the background. Theory has its role, but I would say that mostly Theory what we, we give maximum, let me say, if, suppose a course is about six to eight months. We are basically giving them a theory exposure of say three, three and a half to four months. But even at that theory, suppose in acting, the faculty actually takes them through some kind of acting mm -hmm. and they are actually doing a practical there itself. But definitely, it's a practically oriented course. And what about the short films that are made here as part of your course? It's funded by you or they're supposed to get sponsorship? We have a outside? mechanism. We are not getting sponsorship, but we allow them to use the facilities of Zima. And for each kind of short film, there is a defined mechanism. Like we have a student project catalog. In that, to some extent, based on which kind of film it is, the institute is funding. We are funding. And what are the various modules that you have here that people can apply for? Like we are uh, direction, it's a diploma and certificate courses. Direction, acting, scripting, production, cinematography editing and uh, film animation and visual effects okay. then digital arts i think we are the only institute 
in India and seventh in the world, the Smoke Training Institute. It's an authorized smoke training institute by Autodesk. So you've been part of the industry for a really long yeah. time uh, as an insider as well. So what do you think? Has, has the industry opened up to young filmmakers? Can, are people willing to produce you know, films that are by people who don't have big names, come from big families? Yeah, has I it think, opened up? I think, you see, you, uh, I'll take some few films name. You look into Jankar Bits. It was a massive hit. You look into Nagesh Kukunu. How did he came up? I think his film, he just came like that. I mean, many of them today. And today it is not only that, see, the best part of this industry, that probably this industry has a language. See, though the communication language may be in Hindi or English or whatever, but I think this is the only industry probably which has a language to communicate anywhere in the world. And short films as such, do yeah. you think that can evolve as a separate genre, as a separate medium? It is evolving already. I, if I'm not wrong, I think in Bombay, let me give you, there is a place in Bandra somewhere, there's a restaurant, and I, every week, I think there is a short film exhibition which happens yeah, the and Mokka that's how the students are being selected. There are many such places in the country. I think this, and not only in country, I mean it's internationally. Basically the talents are being seen. Like you must have seen some of our short films, the students. I think the beautiful concept they have come out, like this Colors of Cinema, if you watch the movie. It's an, I mean I would say that absolutely the concept is fabulous. The best part that purely everything is done by students. We encourage them. Well, thank you, sir. Thank you so much for joining us. You've almost made my job easier.